Hey, from Canada. Have I ever told you guys that UPS in Canada is the absolute worst? Oh, well, got a little story for you. Alright, T minus 24 hours until uh, Michael is flying out of here. Michael is flying out. If you didn't catch yesterday's video or the day before or whatever it was, last video, he's flying out back to the East Coast. He's going to pick up his bus. Then he's going to be driving to Canada, uh, Colorado. <coughs> now, we've been waiting on some parts for a very long time. We have been delayed because of uh, these uh, parts uh, in the mail. The first delay was from uh, uh, the company we're ordering from. Not much we could do there. Second delay was from UPS. Today is Monday. Thursday, it was supposed to be delivered. So I went down to the uh, uh, gas station where it was supposed to be delivered. I waited all day long. I uploaded videos, um, just waiting for the package to arrive. Never showed up. Well, so package actually came the next day. That was Friday. Turns out they needed a, a COD. I had to pay customs on something shipped from the United States. Okay, not U UPS's fault, right? Um, but they never mentioned in the tracking that you'd have to pay, so that's kind of an issue, right? You would think that they would say something. Um, so that's a recommendation from them to, to start doing that. Here's where it gets fun. I went today, today's Monday, I went on to, oh, actually I called UPS and I told them I am expecting a package and it's essential that we get this package today, all right? So I said, okay, no problem. You have to pay the customs to us, whatever, it was like 40 bucks Canadian. Um, no big deal, paid it. And I told the person, I need to know if it's 100% gonna show up. And she basically guaranteed me yeah, well, here's the uh, authorization number for your payment of the uh, customs, right? So I, I said, I, you know, I, I repeated myself. So if I have this, you're telling me all they have to do is just verify that I paid and they will leave the package. Yep, no problem. So I went to go get parts. And while I was out getting parts, the UPS guy showed up. He refused to acknowledge the receipt that I paid to UPS over the phone. This is the way their business runs. Is this is It's supposed to work like this, right? You're supposed to give them a receipt that you paid and they're supposed to acknowledge it and then drop off the package. Well, the guy refused to acknowledge it. He refused to call in to the store. He refused to drop off the package. So it's now delayed another day. So just to let you know, I had to pay $124 for shipping for a pump that costs three fifty, dollars uh, and it was supposed to be three day, right? It's now like, I don't even know. Well, it's now seven days. It was shipped out on Monday uh, the previous week, and now it's on the seventh day. So there, I'm going to get my package first. Then I'm going to have to call UPS and get my uh, refund because that's ridiculous. Uh, so uh, part of the, I know Michael's definitely been feeling some frustration We've, we've been going slower than we wanted to, but there's certain things that are just out of my control, right? Like we can go to the store, we could buy stuff. Uh, we can try to order things in advance, um, you know, uh, but if those things don't show up, there's absolutely nothing we can do. So I just feel bad. It makes me look bad because people are relying on me to get things done. And we, when you're dealing with multiple companies and especially UPS in Canada, which by the way, I recommend no one to use UPS in Canada. There's some other uh, uh, Canadian things that, that are much better and uh, uh, so use those, but UPS Canada, stay away from it. It's an absolute worst. Uh, I, I, it also with Amazon, Amazon Canada, completely different. It's a nightmare. It takes weeks. Even their, their post office, it sucks. Like it, it's, it's, it's crazy. So all you guys down in the States complaining about like two day shipping or three day shipping or the USPS or like whatever, trust me, it's a much better system down there. 
Um, so for all the America First people and rah 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 America, uh, the, the, you guys win this one for sure. There's other things that Canada wins, but uh, we definitely win the um, uh, consumption of uh, products and shipping and all that stuff. It's like a third world country here uh, as far as shipping goes. Uh, and for any uh, Canadians who are offended by that, well, uh, sorry, sorry, I should say. Um, but uh, you guys aren't in rural Canada, and I know in the big cities it is different. It does work better, but when you're out here, um, it's a whole nother ball game, man. Whole nother ball game. And uh, paying customs duties on on things is a, is a new thing for me. That's uh, never had to do that in the states. So just a little little differences I've noticed from the two countries. We both have a similar kind of culture, but very different with. Uh, uh, even you know uh, uh, how the same name company works in, across two different lines. So, anyways, a little disappointed today. I was very upset earlier, but there's nothing I can do. So, I'm just gonna get to work. Doesn't that look nice and clean? Not that part. The middle part. I got all the well decals, as the uh, Canadians call them. But uh, we got this front part up here working on as well. Looks like Mike's gonna do a video. Uh, the batteries only last so long, so having cordless is uh, a great thing and also a not so great thing. Uh, how, you, how you feeling today? Dude, you're leaving tomorrow. I know. I can't believe it. I know. I'm it's glad okay. We, I'm glad we got the floors done. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're, but we're, we're this close to getting everything done that at least I was planning <laughs> on getting them before I left. I know. I know you guys still have some we, bit more, dude. a bit more, but uh, as long as you keep checking those couple spots, yeah. we're gonna be super tight heading to Colorado yeah. and uh, also bad news, that other fuel pressure regulator won't work. Well, there you go. There you go, everybody. <laughs> so well, it, you it know, looks like Mike's continues. hanging out or Mike's taking off and I'll be hanging out here because Canada. Since I'm not gonna have a place to sleep, because uh, in a previous video I mentioned badges uh, kind of helping somebody out and kind of getting them a, a, a trailer. That he's his second trailer. What exactly are you doing? Subleasing? What? The trailer for Don. No, it's the thing that, you know, it's just, it's a long story. It's like... Long um, story short, he's a new, nice dude and he's helping somebody out who's yeah, living in a vehicle. A, it's a long story. It's like, everybody up in Canada wants to give me said 15000 for it. It's a $20,000 trailer. So, if we're going to give it away... We're gonna give it away to somebody that can use it. There we go. The nomad so that's spirit. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna take a nomad out of his truck, which you know I don't like vehicle sleeping, and put him in a trailer. Yeah. And bring his life standard up a little bit. That's an, a very good deed and that you're doing. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. Exactly. There should be more people like Badge on the planet. Oh, the, the planet's not ready for that many. Hours. <laughs> So, uh, because I won't have a trailer, because of the delays, I'll be hanging out here. I don't have a place to sleep. I don't know if I've ever slept overnight in a hammock, but I'm going to start. So we're going to go... Hey, wait, did you sleep in Weir, Montana? Or was that just me? That was you. Oh, so you never slept in it? Never. Oh. Well, so you're out for a treat. We're, I know. So we're going to get some threads and go from here over to the corner, and then we'll be back in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail. You ever Give heard me that, that one? Thing. Give me that thing. Look at this. <laughs> now, he's never slept in a tr in this place before. Look at this. He's got wall-to-wall -wall plywood, insulated, and everything. All the windows are done. I think it's a pretty good setup. It's a pretty good setup. I mean, I, I personally, I think the build's done. I think, well, I, I would say so. Whoa, 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 you know, a little bit of paint on the walls. Yeah, yeah, we just freshened the It's all good. Right here. Get the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's not the no. kind of program we're running here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's your camera back, sir. That's the message I got. Yeah, not, that's that's the message I, got. I, I thought we were just putting a sign. I thought we were done. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I got, a, I got a plane ticket too early, apparently. I, I, I guess so. I want, I want what you guys are drinking. I want what you guys are drinking. <laughs>